Hello, my younger nerds, and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today's game is going to be Out of Extreme Masters 2016. It happened, what, a week? Maybe a week and a half ago, roughly? So, we're going to see what happens here. I picked this game for several reasons and I will go over that after I introduce the players to you. We are on Ruins of Ceres and in the top left hand position you have the one, the only, SOS as our blue Protoss. And in the bottom right hand corner you have Beyond, 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 I think. Beyond. Is it Beyond or Beyond? I don't know. But uh, I'm going to call him Beyond because that's just how it sounds. So we're going to see what these players can do towards each other. And let's get into this game. I chose this game, one, because SOS back during HOTS uh, was one of the best known and in my opinion one of the best skilled players in HOTS that was a Korean um, beyond I'm I'm assuming is Korean just because of the name uh, he is I, I I know of him but I know more of SOS let's just say that one if that makes any sense whatsoever so we're gonna see what Young can do against SOS. Uh, currently, they're both expanding. Not uncommon in Legacy of the Void. So, we're going to see... Uh, basically, Beyond has to stop SOS from his late game strategy. If you can let SOS get into the mid game or late game, in my opinion, he's mostly unstoppable uh, just because he just throws just stuff you would never expect at you so we're kind of like I don't know I've seen him go from a traditional ground army to a fully air toss army in the late game mix in with Hyde Templar and DTs or he'll go for a ground army supplemented by storm and dts and i've also seen sos cheese before as well uh using high high templar or more in the case of using uh dark templar sos has been known for uh storm drops in the past on uh his enemies worker lines and that's always fun because you get to see uh, a bunch of probes or drones or SCVs just explode. So we're going to see what exactly happens. Uh, Beyond did a very standard 1-1-1. He is producing mines instead of siege tanks. He has no siege tanks out right now. Uh, he doesn't technically even have the capability to produce siege tanks. But I think what he wants to do is do a very early drop to kind of mess with SOS's head uh, to say, hey, I'm here, I am basically gonna get into your grill right away. And that poor SCV was, I'm pretty sure, first blood. We can take a look real quickly. Yes, it was, it was first blood. Um, unfortunately, that SCV had to give its life for the greater cause. Uh, so we're going to see what comes out of that factory. That factory is getting a tech lab currently, and there is a liberator on the way. Uh, there is a very slow medevac. Um, that medevac has two widow mines in it. Now that medevac could drop here and basically shut down this third completely for a good period of time because SOS currently doesn't have a mothership. And I'm pretty sure does not have a, uh, well he does now, he has an observer now, but currently he had no 
no such thing. But that S that uh Medivac, not S C G. That Medivac is gonna drop the widow mines. Uh Photon Overcharge goes down on that pile on. Let's see how many kills that uh well that widow mine only got one probe kill, so uh they're currently even in probe deaths. Uh one scouting SCV to one poor lonely uh probe that had to sacrifice its life for ire. So we're gonna see I mean Right now, SOS, I would say, is in the lead because he has three operational bases. I mean, that's at the five minute mark. If I could do that, I would be I would be a pro too. But and he has double forge going on. So Beyond does have three command centers, one still in production, but he doesn't have a third. He only has two bases, he only has one siege tank. And it looks like he's, yeah, he's going for bio for the most part. He's adding two new barracks on, actually, wait, no, he's adding on four new barracks. Four new barracks, and it looks like he wants to, I don't know what he's doing. He does get a uh, observer for almost free, just for a little bit of energy. So, these stalkers... I'm assuming because, ooh, yeah, SOS has Blink, so we're, yes, he does have Blink, so I missed that completely, but he does have upgrades coming, uh, one one is on the way, uh, Stim and one attack is on the way for Beyond, these stalkers are more for just poking and harassing than doing any real sort of damage. But we're going to see what exactly is going on here. There is a pylon going down all the way back here for no apparent reason. I'm assuming more for vision than anything else. Another observer is here. So we're going to see... Ooh, massive drop. Two SCVs fully loaded with Marines and Marauders. And they're going to go up and probably to the third or the second. Uh, on this map in particular, if you take this as your fourth, it's very kind of protected because, well, at least from drops. So we're going to see what exactly happens with these two medevacs. Meanwhile, these, what, two, four, six stalkers are kind of just saying, hey, I'm here. Don't underestimate me. Um, this large drop could have actually stuck back here, but uh, Beyond decided to unload early. Um, I'm assuming he's waiting for one attack and stem to be done. And currently he's just trying to protect his, what, his third? So right now SOS is currently up in bases, but it looks like this large two medevac attack is going to do quite a bit of damage. Six probes already killed. We're going to see three. Ooh, what the? Oh, DTs. Where'd these come from? Did anybody see a DT shrine come down? Because I sure as hell didn't. And storms all the way. What in green's earth? Uh, Storm is on the way. Uh, that's very odd. Let's just say that one. That's very odd. Uh, I don't know where that medevac or that war prism went. Oh, there he is. That war prism's right there. I'm going to try to find this stupid dark shrine. Oh, there you are. There's the dark shrine. Dark shrine is here. Uh, Storm is here, plus three attack, and it looks like possibly plus two or plus three armor is on the way. Uh, this is looking like a, gonna be a pretty good size engagement. Uh, Immortals are here, not unusual to take down the good old Marauder, and just to be a tanky unit because a lot of what Protoss, Protoss has now is kind of soft. Uh, Adepts are very, very squishy. Um, 
Stalkers are somewhat beefier, but you have to watch out for your High Templar. High Templar are very, very, very squishy. But here comes a large engagement right in the top, right in the middle of the map. Uh, one storm for one widow mine. That's not a, always the greatest choice, but there went a storm. Good God Almighty! But that uh, that two medevac attack was repelled from uh, SOS's third three cannons. That's quite actually four cannons. That's quite a bit of investment, but. It looks like these, uh, these adepts want to chase down these, uh, two medevacs, but, oh my goodness, where are you going, immortal? This immortal is kind of just out in the middle of literally nowhere, and gets caught down and is going to probably pay the ultimate sacrifice. So are most of these adepts. These adepts are engaging a larger army, and they're all most likely going to die. That mortal is going to die as well. But it does give a ex very nice excuse for this warp prism to warp in a ton of adepts right in Beyond's main base. Uh, gonna take down very valuable ghosts that have quite a bit of energy. And it looks like SOS and Beyond want to face, kind of face off in the upper, I would say, right hand side of the map. But. Beyond that, there's a lot of probes that have just died in result of these drops that have happened. So we're gonna 24 to 7 workers. Wow, that's 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 nuts. That's insane, actually. And worker supply is 48 to 72. Wow. Uh, SOS is pretty much just killing beyond just on economy alone. But this army and that army. Uh, he doesn't have any storm left, so we're gonna see what exactly happens. But there's still a lot, quite a bit of adepts, and even a high templar in the main base of Yon. Uh, Liberator is here, but it looks like SOS wants to kill off the uh, the main army of Yon. But looky here, there are three stargates that just got built, and well. The good old, uh, my goodness, I just lost the name of it. Uh, Tempest. There you go, Tempest. I knew it started with a P somewhere. I'm like, it's a something rather. It's a Tempest. Uh, DTs are still loose. 17 workers have been killed just in this initial attack, but that DT is still going to town in the main base of beyond so i don't know what the hell's going on exactly but here comes a good size attack that is going to try to interrupt the beyond's third he's never got the real opportunity to expand beyond that while i mean good lord uh sos has expanded one two three four four times now and Beyond is stuck on three bases. That is never good. That is never good at all. But SOS's army is kind of dwindling. Does he have a backup army? He does, but he's what he loves to do is kind of switch into something completely different. Has another Stargate on the way. Has a uh, Oracle on the way. But it, it just looks like he wants to transition from a ground army into an air army. And I don't think Beyond is completely ready for that because he has no Vikings. I don't know if his Liberators can shoot air currently. Uh, I don't know if he did, has that upgrade for his Liberators. Uh, Mothership Corps is just kind of chilling out. And he... SOS looks like he just wants to pump out more and more and more, uh, well, air toss. Uh, there is a DT hiding up in the top right hand corner of the main base of Beyond, just waiting for his opportunity. But the good old temp Tempest, I almost t said Templar, Templet, Tempest, bleh, if I can talk have been revealed for Beyond the Sea, and that Oracle is mainly just for, well, it's, uh, 
Oh, what's it called? Um, when you put vision on something, uh, or revelate, or whatever. But it looks like Beyond is wanting to move out, but it looks like he's gonna kind of go into a trap here. Oh no, SOS was not set up for that. It looks like Beyond's army does escape outward. And there's another smaller army going to the opposite side of the map. And he also is expanding, finally. But it looks like there are workers dying somewhere. Oh, from this Liberator. The Liberator is being confronted by a temp Tempest. I almost said Templar for no apparent reason, again. But, uh, this smaller army is going to most likely kill off a lot of these probes. Uh, DTs are being warped in. DTs are here, so scan does go down. Scan is very effective. And this Nexus may go down. It most likely will go down. Uh, there is only one Tempest here to protect this. Uh, the main ground army is going to come back and try, but here comes a large attack from beyond up in the top right hand position. Uh, it would be SOS's, I want to say third, I think is what it was established for. So yeah, that was, that was a little disappointing for beyond. Beyond got pretty much trounced on by, well, Storm. And what is this? Oh my goodness, there are cannons in the middle of the map. SOS, what are you doing? You're putting cannons where they're not... Where cannons are not supposed to go. <laughs> but it looks like these guys are gonna... No, they're gonna escape. They're gonna escape and go down to the bottom corner of the map. So... Beyond right now has two armies. One's at... They're both at either ends of the map. Uh, carrier upgrades are being finished, and there are three carriers on the way currently. Uh, carrier has arrived. Uh, not quite yet, but very close. So, yeah, he's transitioning completely away from a ground army into an air toss army. Does he have the upgrades? Not really. He does not. He only has one armor. Uh, no real uh, ship weapons have been completed for good old SOS, but he has a very large air army mixed in with a couple ground ar ground units that he still has less, like those three immortals, and a bunch of High Templar. A bunch of High Templar. Uh, High Templar currently are getting sniped because of the ghost, but it looks like there's not a lot of ghost for Beyond. If Beyond had a lot more ghosts than he does currently, I think it would be a little bit better off, but I don't think you want to come up here, bud. You have a High Templar here, you have a Stalker here, and you have three, four, five cannons. You have five cannons. But this attack on the middle right-hand side is may, may be effective for what it is, but it looks like, oh yeah, it gets shuts down. It got shut down completely. That Nexus is going to live. Uh, carriers have arrived. Carriers are here for the rescue. And it looks like Beyond is kind of just in the quagmire right now. Uh, High Templar need to be very careful. Uh, does get sniped. Beyond only loses a couple of Marines. Marines are cheap. They're extremely cheap. But there are still cannons. There are cannons pretty much everywhere. But three immortals against all that DPS is that's not gonna work. But it looks like SOS wants to individually target down the good old ghosts that are here. Stalker, Stalker, don't know. Ooh, that Stalker just completely and utterly got toasted. But it looks like. Beyond, I don't know what he wants to do because he has two armies that are really split up currently and he's he's trying to kill bases is what he's trying to do. And it's right now being affected because 
SOS just says screw it and he's gonna do a base trade with him. Uh, I think SOS will have this in the bag because Yon just doesn't have the army capability for it. There goes a storm. Storm decidedly kills quite a few units in this army, but it's just Murray and him. no more other support. A lot of SD, a lot of medevacs, but that's still not enough. That's still not enough at all. There's a huge chunk of Beyond's army just sitting out in the middle of the map for the most part, trying to take out a single nex nexus that has a gold depository, but SOS doesn't need that. Look at SOS's income. Look at what he has in the bank. He doesn't need really any minerals whatsoever. He's perfectly fine. He has, I'm pretty sure he's almost maxed out, while Beyond is only at 107 and SOS is at... Wow. He is almost maxed out. No, nope, no. Nope, he almost... Yeah. He got to a point and then he, he went up to like 190-something and then got very close. But Beyond does GG out of this game. And SOS is your winner. This is why I like him. Carriers. Lots and lots of carriers. He is one of the pros that does use air toss quite a bit. So if you guys did like this game, please leave me a like on the video. If you have any positive or negative feedback, please leave it in my comment section. I read all of it. I will take your advice and put it to good use. And if you want to support my channel, please hit that subscribe button, share my videos, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next game. Bye for now.